Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, how's everybody doing this morning? It is 11 a.m. here, and uh, got a couple pieces to go over with you guys today. If you've got a couple extra minutes in your time, that'd be fantastic. I got this buck light that came in that I wanted to go over that I've been wanting for a while. Fantastic piece, the one with the um, the finger grooves. Uh, really, really nice piece, and it comes with a, a real nice uh, sheath. So, I mean, for 30, I think uh, this was $30. So, you can't beat that. And summer's here. And another reason why I wanted this for the lightness, the lightweight package. I mean, it, it weighs nothing. We'll get into this in a minute. But um, we got some Rosecraft pieces to go over. Um, the new one that came out. What's the name of this? These are hard names to remember. This is the, uh, whatchamacallit? The, uh, what is this? The, um, Briar, Briar Patch. This is the Briar Patch. And, uh, let me see if I can focus this up. This is the Briar Patch. And a lot of people, um, had this on their radar for good reason. It's a good little piece. Like I said, this just came in. And I'm, my nails are, um, normally I let this nail grow. Look what I did to my nail. I cut it. I cut it too short with my with my um, with my clippers, and I mangled it. I ma and it kills me. My thumb, my thumb is now hurting me so bad. Look how I cut that thing all mangled up. So I can't. I'm having trouble opening up my uh, blades now until this grows in a little bit. But um, this is the uh, briar patch. And uh, just a fantastic, real, just a really, really good piece here, man. Um, you got this smoked, like this smoked gray finish. Um, really, just a just a home run of a piece. Had to get this for the uh, Rosecraft uh, collection. Um, <sighs> Rosecraft blades are really coming on um, pretty hard and heavy. I mean, they're, they're 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 they are very very good knives. I don't chase. Every knife brand that's out there um, that comes out, but Rosecraft blades I'm on board with because their quality and fit and finish, the, the money you pay for them, they're affordable pieces. You can't go wrong. You really can't go wrong. This is um, the French, I believe that this is the French Broad Jack. Just giving you a look at, just look at some of these fit and finishes on these pieces. This is the French Broad Jack. Take you a look around this guy. This is the good old French broad jack. Real nice piece. Snappy as all get out. Um, what else we have here? We got this guy. We got the, what's this? The Beaver Creek Barlow. I really like this one. This might be my favorite. This one might be my favorite. This is the Beaver Creek Barlow. And, um... Look at that cut swedge up here, but just look at this piece. Just a wonderful piece. You got this smooth uh, bone, orange bone. Look at that. Bone is beautiful on this. Fit and finish again. Rosecraft is right on the lines with GEC as far as their fit and finish goes. You know when you get a Rosecraft blade, the fit and finish is going to be straight up on par. You know what I mean? They're going to have centered blades. The whole ball and wax. You can see there, centered right up down the middle. Right down that middle. Right down that middle. And um, just a great piece. Just another great piece. This guy is the Lusahatchee. This is the Lusahatchee Jack. And um, I can't open these blades because look at that nail. How bad it, look how bad I mangled that. Um... But this is the Lusahatchee, and this is a great piece. Now, I will say, I will say, I am not on board with this pry bar back here. I do not like that pry bar. Um, I got to get somebody to can file that down, um, file that off. That'd be perfect. But I'm not a fan of that, 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 that pry bar back there. It doesn't even really work as a pry bar, really. You know what I mean? I'm just stating the truth. It's something that should have never been. It really is, but it was worth a try. 
Um, that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. But the blade and the action is just fantastic. Look at this blade. Look at it. Look at everything else besides that. Look at look. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful blade, you know. But I'm just having trouble with this back here. Just having trouble with that. It's awfully fat. It doesn't really get under anything really well. It doesn't. It doesn't really. I could see if it acted as a pry bar, but it doesn't really even work as a pry bar. You know what I mean? It's just one of them things that shouldn't have been. But anyway, the action is just fantastic on this one. Anyway, that's that's that. That's here and there. And that's it, guys. Did I go over this one? What was this one? This was the Lusahatchee Jack, I think. This was the, the Clinch River Swayback. One of them, I don't know. But this is another fantastic piece. This is another just fantastic piece here like this one quite a bit you could see all the fit and finishes pretty much the same on all of them pretty much the same on all of them the fit and finish um what else can i say about these guys um just really really fantastic pieces let's get back on to this guy real quick this is the newest uh this is the newest guy in the stable um what is this the uh I forget what they call this. The Briar Patch. Yeah, the Briar Patch. And I just love the color of this bone. This bone, that smoky gray bone, is just beautiful. Beautiful. It's a beautiful piece. It's a great, great EDC piece, I do believe. Look at that, um, that clip blade. Nice, big. You're getting a nice, full, big clip blade on that, man. Just nice, nicely done. There's nothing you're going to, you definitely don't need a secondary blade on you. Um, you don't need uh, another knife on you. If you're carrying this one, just put this in a nice, nice supple slip and you're ready to go. Check that out. Check that blade out. How beautiful. Look at that blade, man. I forget the name they called his blade. Um, what is that blade called? I can't think right now what that blade called, but it's fantastic, man. I love, I love that blade. Man, it's really, really good piece. Just giving you a look around it again. Fit and finish is just spot on. Yeah, that fit and finish, how beautiful it is. This is a great piece, guys. A lot of people in the community already pulled the trigger on this one. A lot of people already pulled the trigger, man, and for good reason. This is a good one, man. This is a really, really good piece. Really good piece. Forgot to show you this here. This is the new buck light that I purchased. I wanted to have this for summertime. And I wanted to try the uh, finger choils um, just because, look at that. You're getting a full size 110. Look at that. Right in the hand. Feels beautiful. Feels beautiful in the hand. Lightweight. Guys, this is peanuts. This is feathers in your pocket. This is what you want for summer carry. Summer carry, guys, because you're going to have shorts on, right? You're going to have shorts on. You just dump this right in your pocket and you're ready. And you get... And you get a full size, full size blade, full size blade. You name something you could carry a full size blade like this in the summertime that you can carry and be comfortable with. It's all plastic, right? You could get this thing wet as can be. You can wet the living dickens off this thing. Nothing's going to happen to it. You could get thrown in the pool with this on, hop out of the pool and blow it off or dry it off and... It doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. But this is a beautiful piece. This is the uh, buck light. The buck light. The finger uh, grooves. Buck light with the finger grooves. And they give you a nice sheath here. Really nice package here. Look at that sheath. You're talking 30 bucks. USA. Made in USA, baby. Okay. 
So 30 bucks. I, I wanted to bring that to your attention. You can't beat that. And of course, I'm still rocking this buck. Still rocking this Spitfire, man. Still rocking the Spitfire. I'm telling you, if you guys have not gotten that Spitfire yet, I don't know what you are waiting for. I'm telling you. Slender carry. Look at that slenderness on it. See how slender that is? Slender as can be. Going to fit in your pocket real good for the summer. You got to start looking forward to um, or start getting your summer carries together. Because, um, like I said, you are going to be having, a lot of people are going to be wearing shorts. And uh, you got to have something lightweight. You got to have something lightweight. That's why I pulled the trigger on this guy right here. I knew summer was coming. So I looked ahead. I looked, I looked ahead in the game. And this is just going to be a fantastic piece. Really, really great. Whether I wear it on the sheath, which I might not. I just might dump this right in the pocket. This could go right in your pocket. In the summer, put it right in my pocket because it's so light. It is so light. I could push this right. I could push this into that roll where I could dump it right into the pocket. Lock up is super, super tight, man. Really tight. You know, you got a... You got one heck of a carry on you here, man. I'm telling you. For $30? $30? bucks. let us look at the centering. Centering is dead. Centering is dead, dead, dead. Dead. She's sleeping dead. Look at them finger grooves. How beautiful. Check that out. That's about it, guys, really. Uh, for this video here, I just wanted to show you a few pieces. Um, I highly recommend this guy. Um, what's the name of this again, guys? Help me out here. The Briar Patch. Look into this Briar Patch. Um, I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. Sharp as all get out. D2 steel. D2, it's rocking on it. But look at my fingernail, man. I can't. Man, that thing's. Oh, it hurts. I tore it the wrong way. I ripped it the wrong way, guys. I ripped the nail the wrong way. Now I got to pay for it. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your um, rest of your week. Hopefully, maybe I'll be talking to you on another uh, another video. Who knows? But um, I wanted to get this out and uh, talk to you guys real quick. But um, you guys be good, be well, be safe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Stay well, guys. Bye-bye.